warm greetings to the readers i am dr bhuneshwari assistant professor of english presenting you shortly uh, the long narrative poem meetadudan written by the great uh, classical writer kalidasa kalidasa uh, he was a indian classical poet who lived at the end of the 14th century we know very little about uh, the author yet uh, he was known for his uh, seven major works written in our ancient sanskrit literature uh, he was also regarded one of the nine jewels in the court of gupta king that is chandragupta 2 so this poem megadudam so it was originally written in uh, sanskrit literature whereas it has been translated into so many languages so this poem is uh, a masterpiece of kalidasa so it is a great poem of love and nature in classical literature so this particular poem deals with the intense feeling of love between husband and wife so in this poem the unnamed yaksha uh, who is uh, occupied uh, preoccupied with the thought of his wife as neglected his duty and consequently he had been ba- banished by his master uh, gubera who was the hindu goddess of wealth and he was supposed to spend a year of his banishment in the earthly wood where he could not find a human being to communicate his uh, message or his emotions so in the situation he felt terribly sick of his love and uh, he wanted to find someone to help him in order to pass his love message to his uh, uh, wife who is on the another part of the country so this poem is divided into two parts the first part is a message in which yaksha is uh, uh, conveying the message what should be delivered to his wife and on the another part of this poem journey where he is giving the direction to the cloud how he has to reach the city of halaka where his wife is waiting for him so in this first part of the poem uh, the poet personifies the cloud as a messenger because the cloud was the only companion for the yaksha who uh, is all alone in the wood and uh, so he describes the potential journey the cloud has to make to the city of halaka on mount kailasa where his wife awaits his return so the cloud has to move through the forest over the mountains rivers across the cities and villages so while the cloud has started its uh, journey he has to come across so many uh, landscapes of india and particularly while describing every scene the yaksha tells the cloud what it can do and uh, cannot do and also what it should do and should it do so he was very very particular to uh, guide the cloud to take the right uh, direction so that easily he can uh, reach uh, alaka where he can meet his wife quickly and uh, so he will have on his way to alaka the cloud may have many distractions and even uh, the yaksha had given him the guidelines how he can avoid those dist- dist- uh, distraction and how he can easily start his journey and there are so many beautiful scenes and uh, pleasures that uh, that the cloud will encounter on the way and uh, he can enjoy all those things but he cannot stay there by enjoying all such uh, things because it is very crucial that the cloud has to make a journey very fast so that uh, the longing wife uh, could be very happy to receive the message from her husband so there are so many beautiful description of flowers and mountains and rivers and lakes that had given in the first part of the poem in the second part the yaksha tells the unique qualities of his wife so uh, we know that there is a great uh, bonding between the husband and wife where uh, his wife is uh, waiting and she is uh, even uh, losing her uh, weight and uh, so uh, she is staying there in alaka and now uh, that is uh, the cloud should uh, help uh, her uh, that she can uh, receive the message that her husband is uh, uh, existing or surviving somewhere and uh, uh, quickly he can uh, uh, meet her and the cloud should uh, 
easily find her way and after that the cloud should do what it should do after it finds uh, his beloved that is as soon as the cloud meets uh, his wife he should not disturb her she might be sleeping when the cloud enters into the house so he, the cloud should not disturb uh, his wife and he should be very uh, um, patient and he should wait for some times and when she awakes he can uh, the cloud can convey the message without disturbing uh, his wife so this shows that how he is very affectionate to his wife and even he uh, he is very he expresses his intense uh, love towards his uh, wife uh, so uh, the wife uh, it is this uh, second part is very very uh, very uh, strong emotion which expresses the strong emotion where uh, the desire between the husband and wife longing and the inner world of their love is very clearly expressed in the second part of this poem and we can see that in this poem his wife as well as yaksha the both of them are in uh, particularly his wife is uh, heartbroken in his actions uh, because she has not know anything about the whereabout of his uh, husband and no message and now uh, she is uh, terribly sick and uh, so yet she has the hope some or other how she could receive the message and uh, uh, there is a possibility of reunion so with this hope she is awaiting and uh, so as soon as the cloud enters there and uh, the cloud could pass the message to his wife so uh, actually the delivery of the message is not uh, described in this poem yet it is a it is a belief that uh, Uh, definitely the cloud must have uh, passed this message to his wife and here kalisada presents the inanimate object that is the cloud as a living beings and to describe the story of love separation and union so here the cloud personified as a human being who could understand the emotions love and uh, longingness of a human being and he can take the same message to his uh, wife so such a beautiful poem it is which portrays uh, the love as a spiritual thing so i conclude uh, my uh, presentation that this poem megadusam is a fantastic and uh, a masterpiece of kalidasa which which depicts the intense love of the indian couple as well as uh, the uh, indian landscape in a clear way thank you